Cause it's so catchy, catchy, it's such a catchy song. Nerd Reactor, roll out. What's up Reactor, it's John here and let's talk about the Lego Movie 2. And this is the second part and it's a sequel to the first Lego Movie. The first Lego Movie was when it came out. It was revolutionary, it was awesome, it was funny. And you had all the characters that you enjoy, like Emmett, who's voiced by Chris Pratt. And you got characters that's like, well, uh, you know, Will Arnett as a Batman. You got Wild Style. And the villain, you got Will Ferrell as Lord Business. So he's, uh, these are fun characters to watch. It's just having them interact with each other was, was like a beautiful moment. And now we have the sequel that's coming out. And... Phil Lord and Christopher Miller, they're back, but as the writers, this one has uh, new directors, but it still has their touch. And the story in the uh, the last, at the part of the last film, you have the, uh, uh, it's kind of like a shocker, like a surprise where, oh, it's actually this little boy who's playing in this world. And that's why the uh, characters are, uh, uh, you have that innocence and you get the little, the little baby girl. Uh, with the weird creatures so they, they all come together and you have will ferrell who plays the dad in the real world and that's why it's kind of like that lord business guy uh so just seeing that was really cool like it's kind of like it's not really breaking the fourth wall but it's seeing what's really happening in this world and with this one it cuts right to the chase where it lets you know hey this finn who's a little kid he's grown up now and this is his world, and he's playing it, and you can see that with the uh, the Mad Max inspired desert wasteland, and uh, you also have uh, uh, Bianca, who has grown a little bit older too, the younger sister of Finn, and uh, so it's, it's, it's kind of like what happens when his world of Legos uh, meets with her world, and they clash, and so you kind of get that with this movie with. Uh, you got Emmett, Wild Style, you got Batman, and the rest. Uh, they're doing their thing in the desert wasteland. And then this otherworldly creatures, like you're thinking they're aliens, uh, with General Mayhem, uh, comes together, kidnaps Emmett's friends, and takes them away. And that's the premise for Lego Movie 2, because now Emmett has to go and try to save them from General Mayhem and from Queen, whatever I want to be, whatever her name's tricky to say. And so, yeah, it's the movie's still fun. It's got a lot of co you know pop culture references, and uh, whenever they mention that, like I, I actually laughed out loud with those moments. And then you have the music. The music is amazing. It's this is uh, it's still up there with. I think it's up there with like uh, everything is awesome, and uh, but everything awesome is really really catchy. But this, uh, you got the end credit song. You have to wait. To the end credits of the movie. It's by Lo Lonely Island. And it's amazing. Because it actually pokes fun. Of end the end credits. And uh, yeah, there's another another song. That I really really enjoyed. And I've been listening to this on Spotify. On repeat. Which is the catchy song. By T-Pain. Dylan Francis. And that girl Lele. And it's, it's amazing. It's. <laughs> uh, you hear it. You just want to nod your head. Bob your head. And kind of move with the beat. Like, yeah, I dig this. This is cool. The new characters, they're not as strong as they could be. Like, you have Rex, who's also played by Chris Pratt. But Rex is kind of like a, a character that pokes fun of the different Chris Pratt's uh, character from Jurassic Park, from Guardians of the Galaxy, etc. And then you have the General Mayhem. Uh, she's kind of there to serve as the story to advance forward with the whole kidnapping and aliens. But... As a character, I uh, I wasn't moved by her or whatever. Whatever she just felt like, just just there, and that's it. And then you got the queen. The queen is it's kind of interesting because you're not sure what to expect from the queen. Uh, but in the end, I felt like uh, she wasn't captivating enough as a villain uh, in the movie. Kind of like if you were to compare it to. Uh, Lord Business, like Lord Business is just fun to watch and interesting and uh, it's uh, not the case with this one. But uh, maybe, uh, you know, uh, for me, not a fan of the character. And Rex, he's okay. 
as a as a new character, he's okay. But uh, there are some fun moments with him. I'm not saying like, it's all bad or whatnot, but I'd rather have more moments with Batman and all the rest. Batman's still here, and we'll learn it as Batman is great again. And there's like a fun moment that kind of plays on his emotions and what well, you know batman is known as a loner and the queen that like, interaction with the queen and him is it's fun i wish the there was like more of the uh the side characters like that you've seen from the first one because the first one a lot of the side characters are there and they have like a little bit more screen time here they're still there but it's not enough because it's trying to serve the new story of the new world versus the old one and uh, so I kind of miss characters like the Justice League stuff and all of that. Um, uh, but yeah, overall, still enjoyable movie. It doesn't quite reach the uh, the awesomeness of the first Lego movie. But I still recommend watching this. So yeah, if you have a chance to watch it, let me know what your thoughts are on the comments below. With that said, I'm John, and I'll see you guys next time.